Welcome to the final part of financial math. Grade 12 annuities. All right, so what an annuity is, is a regular payment. In grade 10 and 11, when we did financial maths, we did not have many payments. There was only one payment or one investment. But with annuities, we've got many payments, usually made monthly. Every month there's a payment. So that's, that's what an annuity is. And if it's a future value annuity, then there's uh, an investment. But a present value annuity uh, that we're going to look at in example two is when there's a loan, when you're taking out a loan. Then it will be a present value annuity. Okay, let's look at uh, example one, the future value annuity example. Calculate the total value that monthly payments of 500 rands will yield in 10 years' time if invested at 6.2% per annum, compounding semi-annually. All right, so the payments are X. The payments are always X. So we've got monthly payments of 500, uh, and they will be made over 10 years. And of course, the 10 years is N, and an interest rate of 6.2% per annum compounding semi-annually so we have to factor that in so what we're trying to determine here is f the future value of all these payments of all these 500 rands uh, that are being invested so we've got 500 rand one plus the interest rate in this case is 6.2 percent but we're told that it's compounding semi-annually Semi-annually means twice a year, so we divide by 2. And of course, we must factor that 2 into the time as well, 10 years, by twice a year. So we multiply the 10 by 2, minus 1, and of course, we've got another i at the bottom, 6.2%, compounding semi-annually. So you could check out the solution on your calculator. You take 500, multiply by 1 plus 6.2 percent, over 10 years, with two payments every, every year. Again, the interest rate at the bottom, which is 6.2%, compounding semi-annual. So that means these payments, these 500 rents, in 10 years' time will become 13,000. 13,572. And 69 cents. All right, let's look at example two. Uh, present value annuity because there's a loan. John takes out a loan. The loan is for 73,449 today. That's the present value of the loan. It's P. He plans to make monthly payments of 1,200. Of course, that's X. At 5.5% per annum, that's your I compounded monthly. All right, so we must factor that in also. So calculate how long, so we're trying to calculate N, because we're trying to calculate how long it will take to repay this loan. Okay, so let's just plug into the formula. We know that P is 73,449 is equal to x, x the payment are 1,200 rands, All right, 1 minus, so we've got 1 plus the interest rate of 5.5%, we're told that it's compounding monthly, so 12 times a year, compounding every month, over the interest rate again, which is 5.5%, Compounding every month. 
and the challenge of this problem is to simplify until we get to n. Uh, we could start by dividing 73,449 by the 1,200. So if we do that, we take 73,449, divide by this 1,200, we will be left with only the fraction part of the problem. Okay. That is only the first step. To simplify further, we could take the denominator of the fraction and multiply it into the left hand side also. So if we take the denominator of the fraction, this part here, and multiply it into the left hand side, we are left with only the numerator part of the fraction. Of course, we could simplify even further. We could take the 1 to the left hand side of the fraction also. All right, so we've taken 1 to the left hand side of the fraction. So we can actually calculate this left hand side of the fraction now. We have Okay, so if we simplify this left hand side, we get negative zero comma seven one nine five. Let's just leave it as round it off to four decimal places seven one nine five. All right, we can also choose to simplify the inside of the bracket, if we like, could make our problem easier if we just simplify it now. So inside the bracket, we've got one plus 5.5% compounding monthly. And this gives us two, four, four, one. So it's actually 2,411. Let's just fix that. All right. Um, okay, so it's 2,411. All right, so just trying to get this right. It's 2,411 over 2,400. And of course, the negatives could cancel. Uh, if the negative cancel, cancel each other out, we can bring this side because we're trying to so for n, and of course we can use our log to simplify here, the log will carry the part inside the bracket.
over the part uh, that's on the other side. So that'll take us straight to N. Okay, so let's do that. Log off. So that's how we simplify a lock. We allow the lock to carry the left hand side to the right hand side. If that makes sense. All right, so we get that in. Is equal to. which of course we divide both sides by negative one we get n of 71 comma 99 which will give us 72 payments if you round it to the nearest number so it will take 72 payments and of course if you wanted to check how many years that was uh, we could divide the 72 by 12. So that'll give us six years.